Hey, this is Daniel from Adorama. I'm up here in the Hudson Valley uh, making some portraits. And as we were wrapping, I saw all this beautiful dappled light around and I thought, you know, dappled light is one of those things that you always kind of see as you're walking by with your camera and you take a picture of somebody in it. And it doesn't always look great when you come back to it. If the light falls in the wrong spot or it's too much of an exposure contrast, it can be really bad. So we're gonna play around a little bit and I'm gonna talk about maybe some techniques to get some better shots when you're using dappled light. Okay, so of course dappled light can be created by a lot of different things, but in out here in the park, it's going to mostly be about trees, right? So I've got this tree here, and of course we can put Emily in the shadow of the tree. The trick here is to move her face around uh, a lot until you get the spot where the shadows are falling exactly where you like them. Obviously, if there's a shadow on her eye or on her mouth or right dead center on her face, it might not look that great. You need to kind of move around until you find just the right pattern on her. Takes a little bit of time, takes a little patience in your in your model, but you can get some fun shots that way. But another cool thing that I love to do is to actually use the tree itself as kind of a foreground element. So I'm gonna take uh, Emily here and put it behind the tree. She's gonna play around looking through it, letting the dappled light fall on her face. I'm gonna shoot from the other side, getting some of the leaves in the foreground to give like kind of a wash of color. In some spots it's gonna be uh, in my uh, out of focus and some spots it'll be in focus and it'll create kind of some cool patterns. So let's see what we get. One tip here too is to make sure that you're using your lens pretty much wide open because you don't want foreground leaves to be in focus, it'll be really distracting. You want to get a nice shallow depth of field. I'm shooting at 2.8 to be safe even though this lens is an f2. This is a 135. Good. Hold. All right, so we were chasing the light here uh, a bit as we came in to do our second uh, shot. What I wanted to do here was use the dappled light as a background element. Basically put my subject, Emily, in the, uh, the foreground, light her up with a little bit of flash, and then let the uh, background go out of focus with these little dots of dappled light all over the place, kind of creating patterns back there. We got a couple different scenarios over here, moved around as the light was moving, and we just finished up, and I think they look really great. So, super happy with it. Another fun way to use dappled light. You don't have to worry about the weird light on the person's face because you're lighting them and making nice light on them. It's just a background element. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV. And if you want to see behind the scenes photos from this and other projects, check out my Facebook page, Daniel Norton Photographer. And I'll see you next time on set.